Listen, I don't want to make you feel old, but can you believe it's been nearly 30 years since the TV show Friends first premiered on television? Well, the hit show about six quirky friends has only gotten more popular over time and is now being brought to life here in Seattle with a new experience. We went out to check it out. Did I get it right? Ha. Could I be wearing any more clothes? Pivot! The show Friends was an instant success. It was like a cultural phenomenon that even inspired haircuts and fashion. So dig out your baby doll tea, strap on a choker, and come with me, because we're late for coffee with Friends. Welcome to Central Perk, the main meeting place for our six zany friends. But I'm joined by my friend, Stacy Moscatelli. Thank you for being here. Thanks for coming. Well, I should say thank you for inviting me to the Orange Couch. <laughs> How many episodes does one have to watch to get the set exactly right? We watched all of them multiple times, <laughs> and then we also worked with the Warner Brothers Archives team to study frame by frame. So in this entire experience, and there are so many parts of this experience, how much detail is put into each place that we get to visit? A lot, a lot. We spent many, many months kind of pouring over episodes. What some people don't notice is that season to season, things can vary. So it might be something like the couch um, in Monica's apartment is a little bit different through seasons. The carpet, the pillows, things like that change. And so we had most to think about iconic. what's the most iconic. Yeah. Things like Central Perk, this fabulous <laughs> cup of coffee. When you come in here, you literally feel like you're transported into an episode. How many people have said, thank you for letting me be part of something I love so much? Everyone, everyone loves it. And you know, it's exactly that, you know, it, it, the experience starts with the opening credits and it ends in Central Perk, which is just how an episode happens, right? Are you having fun back there? Oh my God. <laughs> So much fun. This is incredible. What made you decide that you had to have the waterfall as part of this experience? Well, you know, every episode starts here. So we felt like it was a must have and it lets fans kind of have that experience of an episode. So when they come and take pictures here, like what are the kind of pictures you've seen people take? People dance for sure. So they get, you know, some video like you. They definitely sit down and kind of get their friend group in. And a lot of people sort of do the, you know, at the end when they finish dancing, they all sit down and turn off the light. Well, let's get this tour started, but in the style of the show. Lights off, please. And here we are in the boys' apartment. Stacy, I think we gotta do it. We gotta do it. Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Oh, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> this is fantastic. I feel like we should order a New York City pizza and watch some TV. I also hear the chicken and the duck somewhere around here. They are trapped in the foosball table, so we're gonna have to call Monica. Every time, come on Joey Chandler, get it together guys. <laughs> I love all the little things that you have in here, the little pieces that really tie it together, like the Three Stooges. Mm -hmm. And you even have Hugsy. We have Hugsy. It's one of the few places you can see Hugsy. And Hugsy was Joey's favorite bedtime pal. Yes. The other thing that is really cool about this exhibit are the little Easter eggs that maybe even people didn't recognize on the show, like the Magnadoodle that was on the back door of Joey and Chandler's apartment. I don't even think I really paid attention to what was on it, but you all did. Yeah, every episode had a completely unique message on the Magnadoodle, so we've brought some to life here on the wall for fans to check out. What is your favorite one? One of my favorites is the Emily Bonvoy See Ya. I love them all, but I think my favorite one is Get Out. Hey, ugly naked guy, wake up. Stacy, 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 you're not gonna believe this. What? I just saw Rachel and Joey kissing in the hallway. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, sorry, sorry. I get could a little happened, character here. <laughs> but you cannot help it when everything is so close to the real thing. I have always wanted to sit and have coffee in Monica's kitchen, and here I am. This is one of my favorites. This is amazing, and everything is just how I remember it. Even the cute, adorable cookie jar. Yeah, we spent a lot of time studying and looking at what was on Monica's shelf and recreating it for everyone. So you didn't just find this at the yard sale, you had to recreate everything. Thing. Yes, one of the hard parts is textiles. The good thing was that Monica had a few different versions. We were able to get, <laughs> to get close enough. Obviously this is an experience, but you want people to feel like they're here. How do you decide what goes where? 
Gosh, I mean, it's really, some of it's about, you know, throughput and getting people in the space, but it's also really thinking about what is that iconic moment that people want to relive. Mm -hmm. And so to your point, a lot of people want to sit at the table um, and sort of have that moment sitting down with a friend or a family member or a significant other and kind of recreating sitting at the table where so many important conversations happen. So many secrets shared at the table. <laughs> I wonder how many more secrets will be shared during the Friends experience. Stacey, thank you so much for inviting us into this New York City apartment building here in Seattle. Thanks for coming. The Friends Experience runs through April 30th at Pacific Place. They also have a fun retail shop with all sorts of great merchandise and memorabilia to check out. January